How you been, guys? Bass Conquistador. Welcome to the channel, friends. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Check it out. Today, we have a $40 rod review. Check that out. Yes, sir. We got a $40 rod review right here today. Yup. Plus, two crazy unboxings. You got the MTB Elite here. Yup. And the MB Regional. For those that don't know what those acronyms mean, that's Mystery Tackle Box. Yes, sir. And that's Monster Bass. So, I wanted to talk on today's um, episode. I wanted to keep it everything like around the $40 mark, right? The leak box is 40. The MB bag is 35.99, right? So let's get to it. Let's break it down one by one. Where are we going? Let me show you a little catch I had this summer. I'll be right back. Bass Conquistador. Deuce. Mm. 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 No, baby. No, baby. Not today, baby. Not today, baby. Not today, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Not today, baby. Not today, baby. Not today, baby. Not today. Mm. That's what we got, baby. Check that out. For the camera, baby. Love it or leave it. Welcome back, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. So, our first trip takes us to Walmart, right? You know, in Walmart, they're always selling all kinds of crazy rods and stuff like that. They deal with a lot of the Shakespeare stuff. But one of the stuff that I found in Walmart, right, was this um, Shakespeare ugly stick. Right, it's called the Light Pro. Right, that's what it's called. It's not just any ugly stick. It's called the Light Pro. Right, so I'm. I gotta say it. This this rod right here is perfect for when you're in the kayak and um you underneath those trees and limbs and stuff like that. This is the rod you're gonna wanna be throwing around there. You know um. Also, it's perfect for all you anglers that like pond hopping and stuff like that. Now, none of these people sponsor me. None of them. I would love it, but none of them do. I'm just giving you a review of what's out there for $40. You can catch this Light Pro right now for $40. You get ready for trout season. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. With the ultralight action, um, it's recommended two to six pound line. It has a cork handle. And um, of course, like all the ugly sticks, I don't know if y'all can see that there. It got the fiberglass tip there. So those are the positives on this. I love this little bait keeper thing. All these new rods have been coming with these bait keeper things. I love that. That's an awesome... Um, feature on it right so i paired this up with my abu garcia cardinal sx10 right and um and i went fishing with it i had a bunch of little micro lures i was gonna do like a little micro video and i threw this out there a few times and i liked it 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 was good it was cool but it didn't go that far i didn't i didn't get distance that was one and two um, 
I did get bites and I did bring fish in. So I guess, you know, I guess the sensitivity was there on it. It was definitely there. So overall, I give it four out of five fish. Fish, five fish being the best rating you could get. I give them four out of five because um, there was still some stiffness. It might be because it was, it's a new rod, but um, I have bought in like um, my 13 fish in black defy rod. And I'm going to tell you something right now. There was nothing more lighter, more, more smoother rod than you could ever buy. It's very nice. So, if you go in micro, you're going to put the light name on there. I think that you um, should make it function. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's cut to another video real quick. That was the um, Shakespeare Ugly Stick um, Pro Light that I got in Walmart for 40 bucks. 40 bucks, bro. That's all I paid for that rod. And I got me a nice little rod. I'm thinking about getting another one. So I might have two. So check that out. Baskin Keys Door. Check out this video. I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah. Oh, Bass Lake. Yeah. Bass Lake. But I didn't catch. I didn't catch no big bass. I caught a big pickerel, guys. Check that out. Alligator gar, you can call it alligator gar. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Nice pickerel. That's an alligator gar. Oh my god, that is a big fish. <laughs> that is one big fish. A floppy. All right, guys. Check that out. All right, nice. this guy's going back in the water, guys. Nice pickerel. Okay. Y'all still with me? Alright, you know, it's a, it's a little it's a little video, man, but, you know, I got this awesome unboxing for y'all if y'all just hang in there with me, right? So, um, do me a favor, if you haven't already, hit that like button. Come on, man, show me you like the video so I can keep giving you more videos. If you don't hit that like button, I don't see you liking them. I can't give you more videos. I don't know if you like them, you know what I'm saying? And then... You got to subscribe because if I got more videos for y'all, I, I better the next video, which I will, you know, I got some more stuff for y'all. I got some more stuff for y'all that y'all don't even know about yet. And, um, I'm trying to reach a thousand likes, man. So subscribe, man. I'm trying to reach a thousand subs also. So subscribe, man. Come on, bro. I need that. Second of all, um... If I reach them thousand subs, I'm gonna do a live giveaway. And trust me, I got stuff to give away. Okay? So, okay. Second rod. I went to Dick's Sporting Goods, right? I found a six foot six inch medium heavy casting rod with a six to one gear ratio bait caster reel. Check that out. All right, see that? Of course, by no other than Jawbone. You know, everybody knows Jawbone is a company from Dick Sporting Goods and all that stuff is all good. I got another Jawbone rod that I bought my son. He loves it. Um, So, this is a fiberglass two-piece rod. Is one of the features on it. Alright? Two-piece rod. I like that. Because you know, I can't stick these seven-foot rods, eight-foot rods, in my girl's car. That's not gonna go. She's gonna be pissed the fuck off because I've done put a hole in the back seat somewhere with, a, with one of my lures or something. The fact that this broke apart into two pieces lets me tuck it away, put it in a rod sleeve or something, you know, stick it in the back seat, and we go we gone. We going fishing. We out. No problems with the lady. Out of here, right? That was the plan. So I liked that feature of that jawbone rod. Um 
I love it. I can't wait to put some 14 pound floral on it, you know, and a jig and um, catch me some bass, right? Out of five fish, I do give it a four fish rating. Yes, I do. I'm sorry. I'm a big critic. I can't help it. I'm a big freaking critic. I, if you're not spectacular, you're not getting five stars from me. I'm sorry. Like, if this rod can't catch his own fish, he's not getting no five stars from me. Right? Nah, I'm, gonna I'm, going, I'm going over with it. But, yo, it's the fact that I just can't give you five fish just like that. I'm sorry, bro. There's no credit here. So, um, some of the hardware, this is why I gave it a four fish. Because some of the hardware on this, I've broken these little plastic things before. It should have came a little more stronger. You know, I just don't got my full faith on it. You know what I'm saying? And plus, I don't know, it looks like it's built like some of those foreign rods, you know, that you buy on Wish and shit, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. And, um, I don't know. But overall, I gave it four out of five, which means I would use it, put it on the boat, go fishing with it. You know, I would. I like the fact that the, the reel is a big reel, right? And they said you could put up to 20 pound line on that. I wouldn't. I would only go like 15 max, you know, Any, anywhere between 10 and 15, I would do, but. That's up to you, man. It's your rod. You once you buy it, it's yours. So check it out. After this quick vid, we're gonna do an unboxing, and then we're gonna end this video so y'all can finally go home, go wash the dishes, go wash your mm -mm, and you know, and maybe uh get a little bit of love from your girl. Check this shit out. Bass conquistable. Deuces. What I catch, guys? What I catch? Ooh, I caught a perch. Nice. I caught a perch, guys, on Elliot's lure. I told you my lure was good. Just my reaction time. I caught a perch, guys. This is a picture moment. Number one. Let's see, where's this price card at, man? Because y'all 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 already got me hype. I'm already hot. I'm sweating. Alright. So number one, it says uh it's the it says it's the dual realist vibration nitro. Lipless crankbait there. Check that out. This this is $13.99. This little thing right here in this bone color is $13.99. Now, y'all yeah, remember why I started this channel, right? I started this channel to show you that a uh, $3.99 lipless crankbait is the same as a $14 crankbait. You're going to catch fish if it's the right time for it, it's the right time to cast that, it's the right lure for that situation. You're going to catch fish whether it's $4 or $14. <whistles> Take that. Bing, bing. You know? All right. Weston. Right? We got the Weston. I'm not taking nothing away from Dual Realis. It's a great lore. It's a beautiful lore. And is it worth $14? I don't know. Can you catch me 14 fish? Let's see. Right? Weston. Spot on Walker. Check that out. Bruh. That's nice. Weston has a lot of details. So I won't, <clears throat> when it comes to the top water, some top water stuff has a lot of detail and it just don't match. It almost makes you not want to throw it in the water, right? Because it's such a work of art. But I don't want a work of art. You know what I want? I want something that's gonna catch me some bass. Next lore, moving on. I like that Weston, I like the company. You know what I'm saying? Um, 10,000 fish headhunter. Now, let me tell you, when I saw this, right? When I saw this, I said to myself, yo, Bass, stop playing games. You need like 10 or 15 of these, all different colors, at least. Hey, 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 Cash Co., huh? Huh? Send me a few more. Yup, check that out. 
even got a scent on it, like that coffee type scent that they be putting on all their baits. Yo, that looks real, bro. That looks so real. And look at that hook hiding in there. Oh, snap, bro. I need to go buy me like, so I, I went looking for the stuff. The stuff you could only find it on Carl's um, Tackle. That's the only place you can find it at. So I'm gonna have to go on the call. Send me a, 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 a link, you know, like a 30% off like you always do, you know? Send me like a quick 30% off so I can cop a few of these and cop that um new bug y'all got too. Uh -huh. I've been looking for it, hunting it down and play it in nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. And finding it nowhere. It's not a lot of places where I'm at to find tackle, but still, I ain't finding nowhere where I got. So we're moving on. The catch. Outdoors zero gravity jig. Alright. This looks like a skipping jig. Right? It's a stand-up jig. It'll stand up on its head like this. Right? So no matter what you put in. But you see how how brown that is like that? I would skip these jigs. These are the jigs I use to practice to skip. Skip on the um trees and stuff like that. I need to get better at skipping. I see these professionals on the bass tournaments and all that stuff, you know, skipping like crazy. You could call them skipper, you know? All right, we going with the crypto, not kryptonite, not crypto the, mm, no, not that shit. We going with the crypto lords, yes, sir. Going with the crypto lords. Finesse worm. I like that it, it has a fat body and then into a slim little, almost like a little paddle tail at the end there, right? I like that. I think I would Ned rig this. I think I would Ned rig this. I wouldn't really wacky rig it, but I would Ned rig it or drop shot it for sure, right? Not bad. I like that. I like to try new things, right? Don't tell my wife that. Though. All right, so check this out. Now, oh, we got the hoax. The fish chiseler. Oh, snap. So let me tell you something about this. One, it's not an ordinary worm. It's super thick. The worm, right? Two, it has this arrowhead tail on it. Three, it has all of these ridges on it. Awesome. What I would throw on that? I would Texas rig it. That's what I would do. That's a fact. I would Texas rig it. Correct me if I'm wrong, fellow fishermen. If you think I'm wrong, Holla at me, leave a comment. You guys got to leave a comment. Let me know, yo, your unboxing sucks. Yo, I liked in that sweater. It was sick. Yo, check this hat. Yo, this hat is fire. Now, and leave some comments, man. Let me know you're alive. You're not a robot. All right, so check it out. Next is the Z-Man TRD Cross. Self-explanatory. Everybody's seen them. Everybody has fished them. They catch fish. Get a pack. Then you got the Harmony Fishing Company Razor Series Drop Shot Hooks. I'll take those. Y'all been giving out, Catch Code, y'all been giving out a lot of Harmony stuff, which is cool. Which is cool. But let me find out y'all got money on that. Then you got the Dibble. This um, mom's dibble seems to um, talk about netting, slipping into what? Close encounters of the chupa carpa, carpa time. All right. Three frog colors that work everywhere. It breaks down a whole bunch of stuff, man. You're going to get some extra information here in case you didn't know. And maybe some people to follow online and stuff like that. You know, it's amazing. It's amazing. Right? Um, you also got a breakdown of the 10,000 fish, um, and how does it work and how to fish it and where to throw it and stuff like that, which I think that's great that if you feature a new lure in a box, of course, 
feet give somebody details of how to throw that right that, that would only be right and then of course you know they featured i know y'all be watching those um catch code videos talking about the bassmobile and the, and and you know they had this whole thing series going on about it right it was cool i liked it i liked it i thought it was cool i thought it was really cool so that was mystery tackle box right elite edition all right and we still here we still going right let me show you a quick video a quick one i promise it's gonna be quick i promise a quick video and then um we'll come back to unbox the monster bass to unbag it really bass conquistador deuces threw on a spinner blade to see where they were at right just to see where they were at see if they were in here biting Caught me this little tiny dink, little tiny bass for right now. All right, y'all back. Damn, I can't get rid of y'all. I don't want to show you all my stuff. I really don't. It's like a secret, top secret, CIA stuff. No, I'm just playing. Everybody can know what's in my bag, man. I don't really care, man. Y'all probably gonna rob me anyways. So check it out. Uh, what do we got here? Where's this card at? Um, what do we got in this monster bass bag? Yo, y'all getting crazy with these bags, bro. I heard y'all ran out of them. That's crazy. I got too crazy with them. Y'all was sending them to everybody, bro. I got like 20 of them laid up in my closet somewhere. Uh, so they feature the Mad Max Papa, right? That's what they're featuring and in this bag. It's something, it's a new project for them. They letting now it's supposed to do some damage out there, catching fish, the ball bearing setup and all of that. Y'all can see that back here. Yup, yup. Cool. Is a Papa a Papa? Or is the Max Papa better than a Papa? You gotta call him Big Papa. I don't know. But we gonna see. When we put it out there in the water, what we gonna catch? Because if the Max Papa ain't got me catching to the Max, we gonna change the name. Alright? So, first of all, we going with Optimum Boom Boom Swim Bait. Let's see. Where the hell's the Optimum Boom Boom Swim Bait? Or is that just something that somebody else got? Alright? Let's see. Where is it at? I don't see that in here. I don't see no optimum boom boom swim bait in here. What the fleet? Nope. I don't see no optimum boom boom swim bait in here. Okay. Let me see. Hold up. Oh yeah. There it goes. Optimum boom boom swim bait. There it goes. You got it. You found it, bass. It was in the bag in the bottom. There you go. Swim bait is one of those inline swim baits too that the line goes inside of the fish and then it connects to the hook this way so when you snatch the the fish snatches the lure and he pulls out the hook he don't wreck your whole bait yo I mess with him boom boom swim bait that's nine dollars nine dollars I bought me a pack of um what do they call those Strike Pros or whatever came three in a pack. I got that for like four bucks in, in Ollie's or some shit, right? Nine bucks for that. Not taking anything away from you, Optimum. But we got to see if a swim bait's a swim bait. What we going to do? What's the, the thing? What the, makes yours so much better than my $4 e economic swim bait, right? It says it has a quivering head, body roll, and tail thump. Create one-of-a-kind panic action. Hyper-realistic detail. I'll give you that. It got some detail on it. It got 3D eyes, gills, and textured scales. Okay. I see that. You got those printed on there. Custom hand-poured colors. Okay. You hand-poured these colors. I'll give you that, too. 
So I might give you nine dollars for that. Just because you did it by yourself with your hands, bro. All right, let's go. Lucky Strike. Hail Mary. The Lucky Strike. Hail Mary. Check this out. This bait has a warped head, bro. I don't know if y'all could see that there, but it has like a warped body, right? It's like chunky in the front, and then it gets real skinny in the back. I think that that's uh, something different, and um, I got a few Lucky Strike stuff, too. I got another jig there, swim jig there from them. Um, so I like that, that y'all featured that on there. They said this Hail Mary, six bucks, right? Six bucks for that Hail Mary. Then moving on, we got the Bass Hick Pulsator Double Willow Spinner Bait. Mmm. Now that's nasty. You see them yellow. You see them black. You see them red. You see them white. How about green, bro? Green. I like Bass Hick. A shout out to Bass Hick, man. I would love for you guys to sponsor me, man. Some of y'all um, swim baits and stuff like that that you guys have been throwing at crank baits and stuff like that. I've been official, official Bass Hick. Um, then now here comes the, um, featured bait, right? The Mad Max Popper. Nine dollars for this popper, bro. Let me tell you, bro, I bought, I bought some Booyah Poppers just the other day. They were official too, bro, and I paid like three dollars for them. Nine dollars. Nice color. I like the feather. Right? It sets two and a half inches long. And it weighs a third of an ounce, right? It got a nice bucket mouth on it. The clear um, shell on it is cool too. It has a light rattle to it. And it has that one red hook in the front. So, like I said, the Mad Max Papa, you better catch me the maximum amount of fish, right? Egg Zone Lures, Deception Worm. <clears throat> the Deception Worm. Check that out, right? Egg Zone Lures. Let's open this up, bro. Let me show you what we're talking about here. Nice little finesse worm. Drop shot. Maybe a wacky rig it for sure. Bam, bam, bam. When you dangle it over branches and stuff like that. And and, and you get one of those weedless um, wacky rigs that they, they be selling Eagle Call be having them weedless hooks. Listen, you wacky rig it on that, throw it over limbs, throw it in the grass, throw it everywhere, bro. You're going to come out with a fish, guaranteed. Right? Then we going on with the Fat Bastard. Now, Fat Bastard, I don't know what's going on in your company, but y'all coming up with some crazy, crazy frogs, bro. And I'm a frog collector, so I got a bunch of your frogs. That's a fact. Check that one out, the white and pink. I've been seeing them in other people's videos. I finally got one for me, you know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, you know, I, I got to go online and order this thing? Like, I want one. White and pink, yo, for breast cancer awareness, bro. You could do a video with that, bro. That's what I was thinking about, right? Next, what do we got? The Z Bates twig, the baby gill twig. Check that out, Z Bates. Yeah, I ca I caught a Z Bates sticker the other day from um, Monster Bass. But it's the Z Bates twig. Look, another finesse worm. Mm. But I wouldn't finesse this. I would either drop shot this or Ned break this. That was the only two things that I would do with this. This looks like something that uh little baby bass and 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 uh, maybe even some smallmouth. We try to go crazy over, you know, beating them in the rocks and stuff like that. Going through the rocks, beating them in the rocks. You know, the smallmouth love them rocks, bro. I'm gonna get all the air out of there. 
I don't like the air being in there because then it makes my beats go stale. I don't like that. Alright. And sometimes I don't get to some of these beats for a while, right? I don't get to some of these beats for a while. But you know what it is. It always like this. So then we got the hooks. Right? We got a pair of hooks. From you know, it's not just any company. It's a good company. And we got some hooks. Some three odd worm casting. Five hooks. Three odd for worms. Right? So of course, yeah, you threw the hooks in there for the worms. I'll take that any day, every day. I'll take those three odd hooks. Those are two fifty, by the way, in case y'all wanted to know how much that pack was. And then you got the sticker from Bass Hick, which I'll take that. Shout out to them again, All right? And the bag that we get, All right? So that was everything, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this long video, bruh. But I missed you guys, man. I haven't done a video in a while, man. I was just like, yo, what's up, Bass? There's a lot of people out there that are worried about you, man. Asking like, yo, where's Bass at, man? Bass is doing his thing, bruh. Where he at? He, I know he be fishing. I know he fishing. Yep, yeah, Bass is fishing all the time, bro. He fishing all the time, bro. Let me show you a video. I was upstate. New York um, for the salmon fishing. I ain't catch none. I, I mean, I had a few bites, but it's just too many people up there. Bro. There was like no room of anything. And I was just wondering, like, yo, truthfully, I just want to catch my salmon and go. Right? Because so many people here, this is not fishing to me. I feel fishing is like somewhere secluded, peace and tranquility by yourself. Bam, you're catching a bunch of fish. That's what I thought I was coming into. But lucky me, in my investigative skills, I found me of something where I'm gonna go to next time the salmon are running, right? I know where I'm gonna go, I'm gonna plan it. I got a spot, private, quiet. You can rent a cabin, everything, all the amenities. So with that being said, I'll see you next year with those salmons, right? But you guys, my lovely subscribers right now, I'll see y'all next week with another video. I'm gonna get y'all again. Maybe another unboxing, maybe another review. I don't know. Bass is going crazy because I haven't seen y'all in so long, so I might just bombard y'all with two videos back to back. I see y'all, man. Thanks for subscribing to the channel, man. Thanks for watching. Bass Conquistador, deuces. Aww. Yeah. Sheesh. Sheesh. Well guys, two bites, two bites, couldn't get them past the rocks, no matter how hard I tried.